Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today we're at the Minneapolis Tour Van and Thomas is going to educate us on lie angle. Um, obviously one of the biggest components of club fitting. Uh, Thomas is going to walk us through uh, several tests he does during a fitting. We've also got uh, some shot data here from Thomas, uh, kind of with extreme flat, extreme upright, and standard. And he'll walk us through the data there and also, again, some of those processes he will go through in a fitting to help a customer get fit for the right lie angle. So, uh, Thomas, why don't you kind of introduce, you know, what are you going to do in a fitting to make sure that, um, you know, the customer has the right lie angle on their irons? Yeah, so the first thing that we usually do in a fitting is obtain a player's static measurement. So static measurement essentially would be a wrist to floor measurement and height. That gives us kind of a general idea of what lie angle a player should be playing in. Now it's important to also do a dynamic fitting, which is what we do when we hit shots, pay attention to dispersion, pay, pay attention to the lie board or to the face tape on a, on a face. So a static measurement essentially using the ping for example ping color code chart is a great way to get a general idea where we should be however it's not going to be fully accurate which is why we dive deeper into doing a dynamic fitting where we pay attention to right. dispersion face tape okay live board so the the static measurements give you just a, a general starting point you know you get height and you get wrist to floor uh, and then from there you'll hit some shots um, using the live board and using some tape on the face and the sole and I know, you know, we've demonstrated that here, and it's pretty clear in, in some cases. I got, we went to the extreme a little bit for, for the upright and the flat angles, but it's clear, you know, when you have the marks on the sole and also on the face, you can tell which way um, that, that customer should be fitted. Exactly. So it's very important. We did a test where we, you know, we ranged from about, you know, standard. It went five degrees upright and five degrees flat. What we noticed, you know, in an upright setting, I couldn't, you know, it was just going straight left every yeah. single time. That what happens when a club is more upright, you're going to catch it, you know, you're going to first turf interaction is going to be the heel because that toe is up in the air. Yeah. You know, if for example, you know, the opposite if we go to a flat setting, now the toe is kind of digging in towards the ground, the heel is up in the air, the first interaction will be the catching that toe and what happens when the toe catches the ground? That club face opens up, sure. ball is going to go to the right there too. Yep. So that's why it's important to pay attention to not only how a player sets up with the lie angle, but what it's like at impact. So impact is obviously going to be very important to see where that ball is going to go. Yeah, and I think one of the cool tests that you did here, in addition to the lie board, was you hit a golf ball with a groove in it um, on the face tape, and then you could clearly see on each, um, with the standard, with the flat and the upright, you could see um, kind of you know where that lie angle was. Well, the standard, it was pretty on point, right? It yep. was pretty accurate for what your swing is. And then with the five degree flat, five degrees upright, you could tell it was a little bit off and there would be some adjustments that had to be made there. Yeah, I, l I really like the groove on the golf ball. I honestly don't use a lie board very often for, for, for maybe like a higher handicap player because you're going to get some inconsistencies. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a general trend, but if a ca person's catching behind the ball or in front of the ball or anything like that, the club's going to bounce off that board and it's not going to give us a direct, you know, yeah. impact location essentially. So it's going to give us some incorrect readings. I love using the face tape because it shows exa you know, exactly how that line, it should be dead straight up and down, yep. and it should be in the middle of the club face. Yep. If it's obviously if it's too upright or too flat, you know, you will be able to see that groove, how it, that grooves. You, know. yep. you don't have to have a groove on the golf ball, you can actually draw a line around the golf ball and use you know, permanent marker just oh, to sure. kind of see the line as well. So yeah. that's a, a great way to, to do that as well. Yeah, so. so let's look at your numbers here. Now you hit, so we have four shots in here with your standard lie angle. We have four with you know five degrees upright, and then four shots five degrees flat. Uh, just by looking at the the map here on the left, it's pretty clear that you know that's. I mean, looking at here, that's what 25 yards to the right. More than that, really. That that could be about 100 yards of dispersion difference there. Yeah, that, it was it was huge. I mean, when I hit my first four shots with with a standard light, which is exactly what I what I play with my with my clubs. Mm -hmm. um, a great dispersion, nice and straight every single time. You know, once we put that club flat, <laughs> it was just, yeah. it's just, it felt awful. It felt like it was just going to go right and keep going even yeah. further right. And in a club that was too upright, you know, left is, left is covered, you know. Right. So, by going upright, it's a great way to try and get someone to maybe hit the ball a little bit further to the left or mm -hmm. to go flat. It's a great way to get someone to kind of miss it a little more to the right. 
So it definitely helps with biases a little bit there too. Yeah. So it's a great way to obviously include that when we're doing the dynamic fitting as well. Yeah, and I mean, again, we did went down kind of the extreme here with five degrees upright, five degrees flat. Now, what would you say, let's say you move your lie angle one degree upright. Is there like a yardage of dispersion difference you might see there? Yeah, I, sometimes I'll see kind of between maybe five and seven yards, possibly okay. if, a, if, a, if a line was off by kind of one to two degrees. So okay. it, could, you know, it could be more, it just kind of depends how far that person hits it. Obviously, yeah. if someone hits it further, that line goes you know, off by the same you know, degree, but there's more chance that ball is going to go further right. off line. Someone doesn't hit it as far, it's probably not going to go as far off right. line as well. So it just depends on how far that person hits it and what club they're using as well. Sure. Generally, what I see, you know, it, with wedges, it's harder for those. I mean, those clubs will maybe be a little bit more easy to get off line because there's more loft on the club. Yeah. Okay. When there's less loft, you can hit it a little, possibly a little bit straighter too. So, one thing to note too, I think, is that you know when you mentioned five to seven yards of difference, maybe for one degree, uh, that's like potentially 20 feet on the green. It's you know? a lot. So yes. you're hitting a seven iron in, and if you're missing 20 feet to the left, that could mean, you know, from the green to the bunker, or that could mean. You know, a 15-foot birdie chance to a 40-foot, you know, two-putt leg opportunity. So exactly. It yes. can make a big difference just by one or two degrees of lie angle. That's why it's really important to come in and you know talk with a fitter, get your obviously your static and dynamic lie angle figured out, and you know then obviously pay attention to your ball flight and see what way that ball is yeah. flying with changes to the lie angle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thomas, this is some great information. Also, some great displays for us to look at. Culvers out there, if you're curious about if the lie angle in your clubs is right for you. Um, I would stop into a second swing store or talk with our uh, second swing online certified fitters uh, and get the expert uh, opinion that you need to make sure your irons are fit for your swing. Thomas, thanks for joining us today.